This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction Advocacy refers to actions that articulate in favor of, advocate, contend for a cause, and implore on behalf of others. It is a continuous process whose objective is changing outlooks, actions, principles, and laws. This is done by impacting people and corporations with power, procedures, and frameworks at distinct levels for the improvement of people-affected matters of poverty. Advocacy activities entail a current, actual action on the part of vigorous, nonprofit groups worldwide. It is used to achieve sustainable transformation. It is also used to eliminate structural sources of poverty so as to promote larger parts of society through program pursuits. Advocacy actions are based on reinforcing and empowering unfortunate and marginalized associations or persons. Advocacy work trains communities via shared encounters and examples learned and illustrates what actions function best. This enables the community members to carry out fantastic developmental activities in their society. Discussion An advocacy activity that will be discussed in my situation is based on a program on the radio and television. This advocacy activity is aimed at reinforcing the comprehension of and concentration given to justifications and obligations associated with HIV AIDS. It offers a forum for supporters and policymakers to engage in conversations and debate present issues in the community. To ensure that the community has participated in an advocacy program, they should be educated about this program, analyze their missions and objectives, and then collaborate with the society. All parties involved in this collaboration should be prepared to carry out movements and fight for change. The structure of the HIV-AIDS advocacy strategy will entail eight vital elements. This includes clearly stated issues, well-planned objectives, an assessed environment, recognized stakeholders, key messages, well-chosen approaches and tools, an execution plan, and indicators for supervision and assessment. Formulation of Objectives during this step, the objectives, together with the expected outcomes, will be defined. The advocacy objective, in this situation, is to decrease the spread of AIDS and encourage those already affected to lead a positive life. It is required that this objective states what exactly is to be changed and after how long this will be achieved. It should define whether the society needs extra resources and whether it wants to develop or change a principle. The objective and its remedy should not be so wide or remote that the partners are likely to become devastated. Persons and associations are likely to join an advocacy program if they see a high probability of success in this program. It is beneficial to be always aware of persons and organizations that are likely to strengthen your objective. For instance, in the HIV program, those already affected and relatives of the victims are more likely to give support. Potential hostility to the advocacy program efforts should also be put into consideration. The objective should be stated in quantifiable terms and within an anticipated limit. A good objective of an advocacy strategy should be SMART. This means that it should be precise, measurable, oriented on the action, reasonable, and time-bound. Following formulation, the objective should be analyzed based on how it satisfies a given criterion. Channels and Tools for Reaching the Audience The channels and tools that will be used for the intended audience in this HIV program include stakeholder evaluation, persuasion practices, and media. Persuasion tools will involve urging, petitioning, discussions, conciliations, and conflict resolutions among the people. The use of media as a tool will involve press meetings, fact and background slips, media packets, and radio and television shows. Stakeholder evaluation as a tool will involve the identification and categorization of the potential stakeholders. This will be done so as to know the people's interests based on the HIV issue. Results that should be expected as evidence of success. In this HIV program, certain results are expected as measures of success. 
the percentage of the total health financial plan allocated to HIV AIDS is the first indicator. This designates the victory of advocacy in securing finances for executing the HIV program. Another indicator is the percentage contribution of the authority, the private sector, and society to the HIV program. This designates the success of advocacy in acquiring national dedication to addressing HIV issues. The contribution of the sector of the health budget to be paid for the HIV AIDS program is the last indicator. This designates the significance attached to the enhancement of behavior change for health amongst the public. Advocacy in any part. Advocacy is interrelated with communication for societal modification as a way of building the capability of the civil community. This is achieved by supporting the community in dealing with and challenging present principles and practices that result in poverty and unfairness. HIV, in this case, leads to poverty. There should be made certain knowledge of and dedication among policymakers, program administrators, staff, and other shareholders. The Countrywide HIV Communication Plan involves an HIV MNE interaction and advocacy strategy. MNE is clearly referenced in nationwide HIV principles and the countrywide strategic policy. MNE supporters are recognized among officials of a high degree. This dynamically approves MNE actions. Advocacy actions are executed based on the HIV MNE advocacy strategy. MNE tools are available to a different audience and reinforce information sharing and utilization. It is, therefore, indispensable to set straight MNE, generate an encouraging MNE culture, and decrease any adverse implications of MNE. A consultation and advocacy plan for MNE can assist in attaining these objectives. The plan should be multidimensional, with personalized messages for varying audiences. National MNE technique is not for the authority alone. It is helpful to all stakeholders in the HIV retort. MNE promotes transparency and requires an open environment to function sufficiently. The plan of communication and advocacy in a nation's HIV strategy should be incorporated to make sure that MNE is utilized in all HIV works. Conclusion the module definition of advocacy is a standardized and universal concept since advocacy is best perceived to strengthen the national population and objectives of the well-being of the society. In every community, there are persons, societies, and corporations that, via their actions, have made a positive impact on people's lives. For instance, the HIV program has had a positive impact on the community. The HIV Advocacy Program has increased awareness and has suggested resolutions among the public, including verdict makers, professionals, the media, and the affected society. The Advocacy Program in this situation has actively enhanced the prevention of HIV transmission by involving people in its development. Advocacy is, therefore, crucial in enhancing public well-being all over the world. It has been used to create concentration and improve health services. It, therefore, benefits the community by protecting the health and fitness of the members. Did you like this advocacy activities, analysis, and practice sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs.